Hi, this is Sean from MP3 Car. We're here at SEMA 2010 and we're standing at the Audi booth and they have a really interesting autonomously driven vehicle. It's got tons of computer equipment in the back. Actually, it's got tons of networking equipment as well and batteries. So basically what we have is a car with, it looks like about uh, five GPS antennas. All the antennas that are on top of this car uh, are GPS antennas. We've got two on the outside that uh, talk to satellites and then we've got antennas in the middle that actually talk to a ground-based GPS system. And that's because in order for this car to drive autonomously the way it does, it actually needs to make up for an error correction in GPS. So in any GPS system there's going to be an error. That's why when you look at GPS it says within you know X meters. So this car without the ground-based system is within three meters uh, with a OK signal. But with this ground-based system, we can be within a few centimeters, which is really important for driving, especially on mountains, whatever. So this car was built to drive on a specific course for now, um, and that's going to be kind of, kind of an off-roading course, uh, not necessarily for uh, the road-based system, but they're working on that as well and kind of putting all this together. So some of the computer equipment, um, we've got uh, two PCs in the back here at P in PC-104 form factor uh, running Core 2 Duos. Basically, the machine on our left actually has uh, it, it runs the Java runtime environment to actually control all of the censoring. So all the sensor information kind of comes into that machine, gets compiled and put into a database, and it's connected via data cable over to the second PC, which is running uh, a MATLAB program, which basically crunches the data and controls the car. So we've got two PCs working together that they're going to be putting in one computer as well, and then we've got tons of networking together. There's a lot of debugging hardware in this car right now because it's a concept to kind of get things moving. So we've got tons of uh, Ethernet ports and other, other networking things like that. Um, so one of the interesting things about this car is that there's nothing kind of attached to the steering wheel and nothing attached to the brake system to kind of make it do what it does. Yeah, it, it interfaces right in with the CAN bus system to control that. So actually the fac factory power steering is actually controlling this car uh, and that's via communicated via the CAN bus which is actually outputting from these computers back here. So it's really interesting to see what Audi's doing here with autonomous vehicles and we're looking forward in the future to see uh, how this is going to make its way maybe mainstream and see what we're going to do with it.